Welcome to another episode of the New Look Under the Influence podcast. I'm delighted to say we're joined by Sadaf today from Turning Point, who's a diverse community... Recovery worker. Recovery worker. Thank you for inviting me today. No, it's a pleasure to have you. Sadaf, um, you're familiar with Dilesh? He does look familiar, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, I do work closely yeah. with Dilesh. So, yeah, that's really good. Um, Sadaf, first of all, t- tell me what, what your role, you know, as a div- uh, diverse communities worker okay, so, involves right okay so my role um, is something that's come about because obviously the community we work with you know is very diverse in itself in Leicester so if we now look at substance misuse you know a lot of our we do have um, you know a large number of people from diverse communities who access the services but what we're trying to do at turning point is actually sort of tap into and reflect our clients through our recovery workers as well. There should be a good proportion of recovery workers, for example, from Polish or South Asian backgrounds. And it's something we're working on, and Dilesh is working on that mm-hmm. at the moment alongside the management. So I think it's, my role is really important because my role, I hope, is a vehicle for clients from Punjabi communities or you know the South Asian communities to access and feel comfortable and not feel worried about there being a language barrier but in fact, it's actually something that will feel more home to home with no judgment. And, you know, because obviously, for, you know, from our communities, is that sharm or izidka, you know, baat hota hai. So, isiliye hum, so I'm, oh, I'll just drop into it. So, isiliye hum, hamari liye bohut important hai. Kyunke, um, asana bande, wo thora sa, unko sharm lagta hai. Jab, um, daro pite hai, ya, wo thora sa chars pite hai, drugs pite hai, heroin, vagar, poppy seeds, bohut hamare community ka problem hota hai na. Isiliye, um, unke liye mein, ضرور کہتی ہیں جب اسسمنٹ کرتے ہیں نا ہم بات کرتے ہیں وہ تھوڑا سا شرم آتا ہے مگر میں ان کو کہتی ہوں آپ ایسا نہیں سوچنا کیونکہ ہم انسان ہیں اور جب ہم انسان مدد کرتے ہیں سو یہ یہ ہم میں سے بات کرتی ہوں ان کے ساتھ جو آپ پیتے ہو یا آپ یو نو ڈرگس پیتے ہو یا دارو پیتے ہو یہ میرا کام نہیں آپ کو جج کرنا ہم آپ کو مدد کرنا ہے سو اس لیے بہت ضرور ہوتا ہے ہمارے کلچر کا انڈرسٹینڈ ہوتے ہیں جو کیونکہ میں پولش لوگ کے کلچر نہیں انڈرسٹینڈ کرتی مگر میں پاکستانی یا انڈین یا بنگلہ دیشی ان کا بھی تھوڑا سا گجراتی بھی لوگ ہمارے تھوڑا سا کلچر سملر ہے ڈفرنٹ بھی ہے مگر سملر ہے بالکل ہاں سر اسی لیے ضرور ہوتا ہے ہم پنجابی بھی تھوڑا سا بولتے ہیں ہم ہندی بھی بولتے ہیں مگر موسٹ امپورٹنٹ سب سے زیادہ امپورٹنس ہے ان کو مدد مل جائے ان کو کانفیڈنس مل جائے I don't speak Punjabi or Hindi. So now I need a translator. <laughs> so I now need a translator to translate what, what you've just said. Yeah. Um, and this is one of the key roles with your job. Yeah. So with one of the key roles of your job is you being a Punjabi and Hindi speaking specialist, you can actually speak to people in their mother tongue. You can speak to them without needing a translator, yeah. without needing an interpreter in between, without having a phone call. Mm. This now becomes direct. Exactly. So yeah. you can actually speak, and, and sometimes people can go through services, and if you're Hindi or Punjabi speaking, or, or Polish speaking, or Gujarati speaking, you don't really speak yeah. to a person. You speak to a phone, and yeah. that's a translation. And that's not ideal. You're coming forward with your substance misuse issues. You know, you've taken the courage to come and step forward. You know, you're worried about the community. There is this, like I said, shame is that there's shame and uh, respect, based, honor-based communities. Yeah, We're from yeah, honor-based yeah, yeah, communities, yeah. so that's really important. We have to understand that as professionals and the white public health, we, you know, sort of integrate that into the understanding of providing culturally tailored Uh, services, yeah. which I know Dilesh is really passionate about, you know, getting that into mainstream substance misuse. And, yeah. and that sort of, you know, uh, is a great way, you know, for me to kind of jump onto that as well, because Dilesh is very passionate about getting into the core of the issues, which are removing yeah. language barriers, exactly, and have it, taking the third person away yeah. and being able to make it a non-judgmental space for our clients, because that's the first thing they say, will people find out I'm coming here? I said, look, Nobody's going to know you're here. Whatever we talk about stays within and, and this. That, and that's really yeah. important. And that's crucial, isn't it, to people from our community? Yes. Is that anonymity and the confidentiality. And we have to, from the Seat Recovery Network, you know, I get that a lot when people are phoning. You know, I've even had um, mothers and wives mm-hmm. saying, 
you won't say anything to anyone. I said, look, all I've got is a phone number. I don't even know who you are, yeah. where you're from. Yeah. So it, it's massive, that confidentiality, isn't it, to our people? Absolutely. But, you know, sort of what I wanted to ask you, I was going to ask you before Dilesh um, mentioned it as well, was that when you speak in Punjabi or Hindi or Gujarati to them, d does that help them open up to you more or make them feel more comfortable? Well, actually, you literally see a change in their body language. Yeah. It becomes open. It's no longer hunched. And people, mm. you get more eye contact and people actually sort of readjusting them. So you oh. see it in very different way, non-verbal ways yeah, as yeah, well. Yeah, yeah. So they suddenly start feeling more relaxed. You might see them engaging. Well, you definitely see them engaging more, smiling more, mm. having more positive kind of uh, engagement. Um, but yeah, so, and I think what's really important is the fact that when I talk about, because I know from a cultural perspective, we talk about not judgment, not judging, nobody else is going to know. Yeah. You know, this is your, the only people might get involved are your GP perhaps, or other professionals that are involved in your care if you're prescribed a medication to help mm. along your treatment. But they, they, their language changes, their tone changes as well, so... It's good and, to and, see. It's and do they to open see. up more to you then? Oh, absolutely. Uh, yeah. Absolutely, because I think as a professional, regardless of the language, let's put parking that to a side. I need to see through the eyes of my client. Mm. I need to see the eye, through the eyes of my client, Look, through, put myself in their shoes. Everyone is one step away yeah. from homelessness or a few steps away from stub, substance uh, use. We don't know what happens in life, so we always have to put ourselves in that person's shoe and come in there with an open mind. And I think this is where, bringing you in with the Seek Recovery Network, where the plan, the idea that we had when we first started working together is if you get somebody that refers themselves to you, that Leicester base, you was referring them direct to turn, Turning Point to get the support from myself. And a lot of the times we'd have Punjabi speaking clients come in and they'd land on my case and as I've just made it aware that I don't speak Punjabi. Yeah. However, I created this odd half Gujarati, half Punjabi, half English language that sometimes worked. Yeah. But there was a connection with the service users where they had somebody who had the similar, who looked at and yeah, the same yeah, to yeah. it, and that, and that connection worked. But what I've noticed the difference with Sadaf coming in her role is, is that they walk in and they sit down and they hear the same language and that complex just changes. Yeah. yeah. And I guess you probably see that a lot. 100%. 100%. And I think that is so true. Being able to speak in your own language and, and express how you feel yeah. is just so important. And, and this is no criticism of turning point, but if, you're, if a Punjabi speaking or a Hindi speaking, Gujarati, even Polish, speak, you, you know, you're going in there and you really want to talk about it and then... Yeah. The, the, you know, the support board doesn't understand you, you're not going to get much out of that person. Yeah. Mm -hmm. and, and I think when they engage with people like Sadaf, you, you know, you're yeah. going to find that they can, they, they'll they reveal much more. As a, as a, I totally agree with, with what you're saying in that perspective. I think as a person from South Asian community as well, I've seen the struggles my grandparents had mm. not speaking English. I saw, you know, my mum was born here and she spoke English, but I saw relatives who struggled with that. Mm. And coming from that, seeing that, I'm sure we all got experiences of that, you know, in different capacities, all of us, intergenerational issues with languages and integrating into substance abuse. And the fact that we're in these key positions here, Dilesh is, this, you know, leading this team, and how, you know, it's going to expand, we have to look at how we can meet make it more culturally conducive to our uh, uh, service users yeah. and, and how do you think we can do that both of you well Dilla, i'll hand it over to you <laughs> for now <Thanks>. so, <laughs> uh, we've got to be realistic and jazz we've been working together for about four to five years probably longer i think probably a little yeah, yeah. longer i think when we look at figures five years ago and I, I we had this chat a little while ago looking at figures and I'm not just talking about Punjabi or Gujarati, I'm talking about all diverse communities. So when I first took the role on, all them years ago, we only had 7% of people in the whole of the treatment from diverse backgrounds. Only 7%. Mm. And that's in and Leicester. And that's in Leicester City. Wow. Crazy, Being it? so diverse. And there's been a lot of work that we've done, talks at the Gurdwara, uh, meetings, we've done the 12-step, we've done the recovery programme, we've worked with Secret Spinney Hill Recovery, we've worked with IMG, we've worked with the Belgrave Police, we've been doing a lot of outreach in communities over the last five years and going to events and stalls and talking and putting presence to the Daman community. We've done so much in the last five years, we've seen a 10% increase mm. in all diverse backgrounds. And 
I've sort of lost a question. I've gone off on a tangent. However, this is for me is about we as community pe- people from the community need to be in the community. I have a big believe believe in that. If you're working with communities, you need to be working with the community, in the community, for the community. Mm. No, I, don't, yeah. I don't believe that can happen any other way around. You can't do it work work in the community like work in the community for the community with the community it just doesn't work in that mm-hmm. direction like because there are great community leaders there are people that are doing great work already like yourself yeah. we have to tap into your resources and your needs and your skills start working with you and start offering a specialized service for the community mm-hmm. because there is a need like you drive around the whole of leicester the whole of uk and there's people of all different ethnicities and backgrounds, colours, races, cultures, languages. We're so diverse now. And there's a huge need for people to engage in treatment and understand treatment. I'm guessing when you speak to people from Leicester, they don't even know what turning point is. And, and this is, you know, and, and we do get a lot of phone calls from Leicester or when we visit the Kodwari. And when I say to them, you know, have you been to turning point? And they're like, what, what's turning point? Yeah. And then when you're trying to explain that alcohol and drugs are, you know, substance misuse, that yeah. they'll give you help, then it's like, oh, right. And then the next question is, some of them, their first language isn't English. And then that, there's another exactly. barrier. Yeah. But, you know, now hopefully that, yeah. that, that isn't a barrier anymore with you working there. Absolutely. I mean, I'm really excited about, uh, you know, when I, when I got the role, um, because I know how important it is. And I know that, you know, Dilesh's vision for where he wants it to go is, you know, it's something really sort of inspiring, to be honest, as well. But, um, I mean, if there's any, you know, listeners from Punjabi communities listening now, you know, that would be fantastic, you know, whether it's, uh, you know, Gudware, whether it's a community centre or any other mm-hmm. organisations, you know, feel free to get in contact with Turning Point, with Dilesh, myself, or obviously Jazz as well from Seat Recovery Network. Let's work together at sort of, you know, moving forward together, understanding each other. You know, even myself, I want to learn more about um, the Sikh faith. I want mm-hmm. to learn more about it. You know, we can never not learn enough of each other from each other. And, you know, at work, yeah. we're always learning about yeah. each other, aren't we? So, you know, that's something I think is about working together collaboratively, really. And, and most of the time we learn, we learn together and we learn most of our ser- from our service users. Yeah. So yeah. we learn from our service users. We learn about the culture, the, dig- the background issues, the stigma, the shame. And, and that's a key aspect that we see within diverse communities, yeah. the stigma and the cultural shame. And people don't engage in treatment because of cultural shame. Mm-hmm. And this is about breaking down them barriers, talking, what, what you do, Jazz, You're going into the Gurdwara and talking about your journey. And without these talks and without going into the community, we can't progress. Mm-hmm. And we have to just keep doing more. And, and I do have a, a great vision to be, to, to, to be based in every single, community possible uh, and I do want that and we've got Sadaf who's um, a Punjabi um, Hindi speaking lead we're, we're currently employing a, we're looking to employ a Polish speaking lead and we've got multiple different um, workers with that work speak specializing in Gujarati speakers I speak Gujarati myself so I'm happy to, to speak in that language and, and we're also looking at um, family and carer support for mm. diverse communities because that's the key we talk about a lot like we talk about it. everyone, I think you told me this, yeah, yeah, yeah. everyone addict, it affects seven other mm. people in their life. Yeah. Mm. But in our Punjabi, in our Asian communities, it's a lot more, isn't Absolutely. it? Absolutely. The extended family, it, it, yeah. the dynamics of our families Absolutely. are much more larger, aren't yeah. they? Yeah. Yeah. And I think, coming back to what you said, and this is why I think, I mean, one, you know, through yourself, getting to know the Spinny Hill Project, Yeah. right? And they came to the Godwara, sat in on a couple yeah. of our meetings, and they just said how powerful they were. And, yeah. You know, you know the honesty they 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 felt and the the energy in those rooms was amazing, and and them coming to us and us working with them, it yeah. just shows that you know getting to know each other, the importance of working together, Absolutely. and how how similar our cultures are. They really are, and I think it's about <coughs> celebrating differences and similarities. Yeah, it's about you know acknowledging each other's differences and similarities, mm-hmm. yeah. you know, and that's the important thing, you know, and finding those shared values and building yeah. upon those as well. You know, I'd love to attend the Gurdwara events. I'd love to attend. I'm open to attending any diverse, you know, community events as well because we're all we're, le- we're human beings. We learn. We're constantly yeah. learning. You know, we never stop learning. I think yeah. it's life's a learning journey. 
you know. So, uh, yeah, I, th I think that's really important. And I think offering, what I really liked as well, is that we're looking at what the Punjabi community want. What does the Punjabi-speaking community want, the Sikh community want, in terms of how they would like their the service yeah. to look like it's not about what me and Dillard yeah, want it no. to look like it's about well how would you would you like it in a drop-in would you like it in a different yeah. well, how would you like it to be would you, you know and that's how we want to work it's about giving ownership to the community mm. and we facilitate it mm. no absolutely and, and I think that's really important and that's where it's down to the community as well the absolutely. community to get involved yeah uh, and, and tell you well yeah we do want to drop in yeah you know, and I think that, that, that could work really well in the Gurdwari, yeah. uh, drop-in sessions. And w those who aren't comfortable coming into the city centre yep. and the, the, going to the Gurdwara regular or exactly. to the Mandir or yeah. to the mosques, they can have that opportunity there to talk to you. Absolutely. And if they don't, if they're worried about even going there, we could find another place. A venue, yeah. A venue, a community centre. There's, there's so many options, there's, you there's, know. There's so many and like, the world is an oyster in me, yeah. I think. By, yeah. With the offer that Tiny Point have, working alongside Seek Recovery Network, Spinny Hall Recovery, working with all of these organisations, we've got so many options and offers to grow. And we've, we've seen growth in the last five, ten years, five, six years. And for me, I want to see this growing and growing and growing. I don't see, I don't want to look back. Mm. No, I'm going to be offering no. more, like we said, family and carers. That wasn't a discussion. Yeah. We spoke about rehab today. That wasn't discussions. There's so much more for communities to work with and develop and grow with. I'm glad you mentioned that again, because I, I probably would have forgot, because we just, there's so much to talk about and you get yeah. lost in conversation. Is the families and carers. Yes. You know, and they're, they're the forgotten ones sometimes. Absolutely. I remember doing an event with NARCOA, the National yeah. Association of Children of Alcoholics, and it was in Birmingham, in Smethwick, you know, probably one of the largest Gurdwaras in the in the country. And um, but the conversation, the event was to support the uh, children of alcoholic. But the conversation kept coming back to the addict. Mm. Yeah. And but we sometimes forget that how it the impact it has on the families. Absolutely. And the devastation it is. And some of them don't get the treatment. They don't get the help they need, and they're suffering in silence. Mm -hmm. You know, and yeah. you know, not just the, fact, the children, especially who've got to go to school every day, and they're keeping their family. It's it's almost a family secret. Yeah, absolutely. And it's like looking at it more from a systemic approach, especially mm. in yeah. our you know South Asian communities. It's not just that small unit. The small unit is a large unit, yeah. Yeah. which is a small unit for South Asian Gujarati families, Punjabi fam, you know, Sikh families, Muslim families, whatever. It, it's that built, and it's that having that understanding. How will we help? You know, mother-in-law might be living in the home, brother-in-law, yeah. sister-in-laws, we don't know. And it chilled. nephews, nieces may or may not be that way. So these people are seeing this, as you said, you say seven people affected mm -hmm. by one addict, yeah. whichever that may be. So, so it's changing our perspective, isn't it, really? Well, absolutely. And then this is why these, you know, podcasts are important so that, you know, people... And I think this is the best way to get the message across for those yeah. people who don't come to the Goddara, who don't watch the Sikh channel, and it's another way, and I think it's important. We work together with yeah. people like yourselves. Yeah. So I'll just say something slightly. I say um, to people who might be listening as well. Jo apko koi madad chahiye, ab zaroor turning point se contact karna hai, aur jas ke saath bhi seek recovery network ko bhi contact karna hai, kyunki ye hamma ab kam organisation bhi hai. Isliye mera kam ye mila hai, apko madad karne ka, apko ye bhi hai koi kisi apko जो बात बताएंगे वो वो इस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में रहेगा ये आपका सफर है ये आपका जिंदगी है और हमारा काम है आपको मदद करने का सर शर्म का बात नहीं इज्जत का बात नहीं ये आपके लिए खुद आपके लिए है इंसान है सर अब मैं कुछ कहना चाहूँगा मैं भी पंजाबी चीज़ों का कि सदे लोग कहाँ दिखे चुना एक चीज ने सन बहुत परेशान जा किता है लोग की की कहेंगे जी बंदे के कहेंगे लोग की कहेंगे कहेंगे साढे मुंडे कुड़िया बजोरक मरी जंदे या पर ऐसी यही सोची जाने की लोग की की कहेंगे हाँ एंड सो मैं भी यही सन जिधर लिसनर्स व्यूअर्स देख दे या प्लीज जब तुसी लास्टर दे बच्चे रहने या यू नो तुसी टर्निंग प जवान जिन्हें दी माँ बोली पंजाबी या तुष्य पंजाबी दिवेच सदा फ़ना तुष्य गाल कर सकने ऐते जो भी तुष्य गाल करूँगे इन दिना सारी कॉन्फिडेंशियल या गोपते या सो ए ए बहुत तेनु ही डर होना या कि मेरी गाल ना किते बाहर चल जबे सो अन आई थिंक ए बहुत जरूरी है कि जो भी तुष्य इन दिना गाल करूँगे � 
ਇਹ ਸਾਰੀ ਕੌਨਫੀਡੈਂਸ਼ੀਅਲ ਤੇ ਸਾਰਾ ਕੁਝ ਗੁਪਤ ਆ ਹਾਂ ਆਈ ਥਿੰਕ ਯੂ نو ਬਹੁਤਿਆਂ ਨੂੰ ਤਾਂ ਇਹੀ ਡਰ ਪੈ ਜਾਂਦਾ ਨਾ ਕਿ ਸਾਡੀ ਗੱਲ ਨਾ ਕਿਤੇ ਬਾਹਰ ਨਿਕਲ ਜਾਵੇ ਇਹ ਇਹ ਸਭ ਬਾਤੇ ਬਿਲਕੁਲ ਯੂ نو ਕਿਸੇ ਕੋ ਪਤਾ ਲੱਗੇ ਗੁਰਦੁਆਰੇ ਮੇ ਕਿਸੇ ਕੋ ਸੁਣੇਗੇ ਉਹ ਦੇਖੇਗੇ ਮੈਂ ਟਰਨਿੰਗ ਪੁਆਇੰਟ ਮੇ ਚਲੂ ਮਗਰ ਐਸਾ ਸੋਚਣਾ ਹੈ ਜੋ ਇਹ ਆਪਕਾ ਜ਼ਿੰਦਗੀ ਹੈ ਆਪਕਾ ਬਾਤ ਉਸ ਕਮਰੇ ਮੇ ਰਹੇਗਾ ਉਸ ਵਰਕਰ ਕੇ ਸਾਥ ਰਹੇਗਾ ਕੋ ਸਦਾ ਇਹ ਵੀ ਇੱਕ ਬਿਮਾਰੀ ਆ ਇਸ ਡਿਜ਼ੀਜ਼ ਇਜ਼ ਇਨਟ ਹੈ ਨਾ ਸੋ ਯੂ نو ਆਵਰ ਪੀਪਲ ਡੋਨਟ ਅੰਡਰਸਟੈਂਡ ਦੈਟ ਯੂ نو ਉਹ ਇਹ ਥਿਸ ਇਜ਼ ਇਸ ਇਸ ਵਨ ਆਫ ਥੋਜ਼ ਇਟਸ ਨਾਟ ਲਾਈਕ ਵੇ ਯੂ ਗਨ ਗੈਟ ਸਿੰਪਥੀ ਇਜ਼ ਇਟ ਇਟਸ ਨਾਟ ਅ ਨੋਨਸ ਔਰ ਅ ਡਿਜ਼ੀਜ਼ ਵੇ ਯੂ ਗਨ ਗੈਟ ਅ ਲੋਟ ਆਫ ਪੀਪਲ ਹੂ ਟਰਨ ਰਾਉਂਡ ਐਂਡ ਥਿੰਕ ਵਾਓ ਹੀ ਇਜ਼ ਡੂਇੰਗ ਇਟ ਟੂ ਹਿਮਸੈਲਫ ਯਾ ਐਂਡ ਆਈ ਥਿੰਕ ਦੈਟ ਇਜ਼ ਵਨ ਆਫ ਥੇ ਸਟਿਗਮਾਸ ਅਟੈਚਡ ਟੂ ਅਡਿਕਸ਼ਨ ਵੇਦਰ ਇਟਸ ਸਬਸਟੈਂਸ ਮਿਸਯੂਸ ਔਰ ਆਲਕੋਹਲ ਪੋਪੀ ਸੀਡਸ ਐਗਜ਼ੈਕਟਲੀ ਐਂਡ ਆਲਸੋ ਇਟ ਕੈਨ ਬੀ ਸੋਸ਼ੀਅਲੀ ਐਕਸੈਪਟਡ ਐਜ਼ ਵੈਲ ਦ ਪੋਪੀ ਸੀਡਸ ਆਈ ਮੀਨ ਡਿਲਾਸ਼ ਵੀ ਹੈਡ ਅ ਕਨਵਰਸੇਸ਼ਨ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਥਿਸ ਨਾਟ ਲੋਂਗ ਅਗੋ ਹੀ ਵਾਸ ਟਾਕਿੰਗ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਹਾਊ ਪੋਪੀ ਸੀਡ ਕੰਸਮਪਸ਼ਨ ਇਜ਼ ਸੋਸ਼ੀਅਲੀ ਐਕਸੈਪਟੇਬਲ ਐਂਡ ਥੈਨ ਗੋਇੰਗ ਇਨ ਦੇ ਟ੍ਰਾਈਂਗ ਟੂ ਟਾਕ ਅਬਾਊਟ ਹਾਊ ਇਟਸ ਨਾਟ ਗੁੱਡ ਫੋਰ ਯੂ ਇਟਸ ਅ ਡਿਫਿਕਲਟ ਚੈਲੰਜ ਇਜ਼ਨ ਇਟ ਰੀਅਲੀ ਐਂਡ ਪੋਪੀ ਸੀਡਸ ਇਨ ਲਾਸਟ ਇਜ਼ ਮੈਸਿਵ ਨਾਉ ਇਜ਼ਨ ਇਟ ਲਾਈਕ ਯੂ ਸੈਡ ਇਟਸ ਇਟਸ ਜਸਟ ਸੋ socially accepted it is huge very easy accessible as well yeah, yeah. yes yeah. too easy i think so so what what's turning point doing uh, to help people with with with, with poppy seeds yeah. so i started working with again when i was working with you we started getting a lot of referrals for poppy seed use um so when we started working with we've, we've i've done a lot of case studies and mm. intense work with service users for poppy seeds um three four years ago poppy seeds you'd buy a bag for five pounds and now all of a sudden that whole process has changed so now shops there's local shops around Leicester selling poppy seeds in containers for, for 20 30 pounds mm. and so what this has seen is it's made it all easy so you don't have to grind it you don't have to do anything yourself so people are just buying them and it's easy access yeah. however we've seen a lot more people come in because it's becoming more and more addictive and more expensive mm. so people's use is going from 20 pounds a week to 60 70 80 90 yeah. 100 pounds a week and people are now coming to treatment for support but what the work I've done in the case studies I've done we've looked into what poppy seed does it gives you a bit of energy it gives you the energy it yeah, yeah. You, and it gives all the stimulant things, isn't it stimulant in yeah. a way but it's, a, it's an opiate yeah, yeah. it's opiate yeah we prescribe the same as we would for poppy seeds as the same as we would for somebody using heroin mm. yeah and people are not realizing that And so when we got people coming in we're looking at either prescribing buprenorphine is the best option mm. because buprenorphine is is a opiate receptor so it stops when you take um poppy seeds on top of buprenorphine it flies out of your system yeah. and so doing that that's the best option for me that methadone what it does is you can still use poppy seeds on top or fiseptone however people it does the opposite so it does the adverse effects so people using methadone or if I accept to they then use more and more poppy seeds and left with a addi- double mm. addiction mm. so ideally for anybody in coming into treatment for poppy seeds is looking at getting prescribed buprenorphine staying on it for a, a short period and make it again to the right dose so they they don't need it they don't have withdrawals and then look at doing a, a steady reduction in treatment and reducing until you get to zero and go back and working with people like yourself for the aftercare um and so it's it's we're doing a lot we're going to get out there going to the gurdwara talking yeah, about yeah, it we're yeah. doing presentations with local police yeah. um but when you're going to a shop the shops shouldn't be selling this this is illegal for the shops to be doing mm. yeah and there's a lot of the shops that I know that are doing them mm. and it's illegal for you to have it people are not aware of this yeah. if you're caught with this and it's tested it's like being caught with class a mm. yeah. it's 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 that awareness again isn't it and in a way people are having it in their house Mm. if their children to get yeah. hold of it yeah like but it, this is a little Very bit of dangerous. powder yeah yeah it's yeah. a little bit if if my if your 5 year old child or your 10 year old child gets hold of it and tries it and has it it's a risk of their life mm. you're putting your family at risk mm. and it just looks like a bit of powder and it's socially acceptable like yeah. we just said in so yeah, many yeah. houses mm. so that why do you think that is you know you've got our calling the punjabi sikh community right you've got poppy seeds you've got yeah. you know in all our communities they these substances are got these so socially accepted yeah i think i think we all communities have different social harms that they're tackling mm. i mean within the communities just mentioned the punjabi speaking or the wider south asian community i think there's a lack of understanding of the full impact yeah. it can have on the mind yeah. on the body 
and it and you know the whole being essentially so i think you know creating more awareness like you said poppy sees a social you know socially accepted drinking to a point not some seeks are very no i will not drink and that's fantastic but some will say well i do and mm. that's their own journey it's not for us to judge yeah. anyone in that but what i find when i speak to my clients they're saying i started poppy sees because i worked in a factory <laughs> where I was encouraged to take it because everybody was drinking, uh, you know, spoonsfuls of poppy seeds in water to, to, uh, for more, uh, more productivity. And then they became hooked on it and then they couldn't get off it. So yeah. they didn't see actually what, how it was actually a maladaptive coping strategy. It wasn't a positive way of getting through the day and using vitamin C or vitamin, mm -hmm. you know, drinking a smoothie as such. So I think the addictions can come in mm -hmm. hidden ways as well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And, yeah. I th and I think it's one of these questions I want to throw to, to Jazz and, mm. and I'm going to have a back-end question to yourself, Sadaf. Is what do you think we, yeah. me, me yeah. and Sadaf, need to be doing, or turning point as well, need to be doing or should be doing to engage more community engagement? I just think you need to be doing more of this. Maybe yeah. one um, community worker who speaks different you know, languages isn't enough. Mm. Yeah. Maybe you need two... Two sadafs. Yeah. Maybe you need two of you, and then that way yeah. you can get out in the community yeah. more. You won't have this pressure of being in the office. And, and I think, you know, Turning Point is a massive organisation, yeah. right? And in a in a you know place like Leicester, where it's so diverse, mm. you want the honest truth. I don't think one of you is enough. Yeah. You, we you agree. Know. We agree. Uh, and hopefully you know. we've got jazz. <laughs> We'll have jazz as well. Yes. Yeah, you, I mean, you're, yeah, you've got the, you, you're fortunate because you've got me, yeah. you've got people like the Spinny Hop, and I think they do some amazing work. Yeah. And I think, you know, together, if there was more of you, yeah. we, we could make a bigger difference. And, and that's it, it's about the growth, like the mm. growth since we've worked together, mm. that we've seen, we spoke about this, five, seven to 17, 10% growth. Then it's about doing more of this. Uh, yeah, I, yeah. I, I just want to keep doing more and more and seeing more growth throughout time yeah, yeah and, and, I th and we've seen the changes it's yeah. made and we've we, we've seen success stories in our community and i'm sure you've seen success yeah. in other communities yeah. and you know sometimes we can be negative in talk about um the lack of success but there is those individuals are doing well and they're passing the message and carrying the message Absolutely. on to other addicts and that's the key thing for me is that we are do as a service in Leicester, i think we're doing really well mm. I think as a service, we're doing really well. Like when we're walking in the office and we talk about diverse cultures, we've got so many diverse cultures within our staff team, Absolutely, first of all. Yeah. Mm. Second of all, when we go through the reception, there's so many different diverse cultures walking in nowadays Absolutely, where yeah. it didn't used to be like this before. Yeah. So we're seeing a huge change within Leicester, within our service that yeah. we're working with. And we want to go bro broader and wider. No, I, I agree with you, Dilesh. I do. I think, I think Leicester, Turning Point Leicester are doing a great job. But I think there's, you could, people will say the Seat Recovery Network is doing a great job, but we know we can do more. Yeah, of yeah. course, there's always more. more. Yeah, and we can yeah. do it. And, but I think with Turning Point, the organisation, with the, the money available to you, the resources you yeah. have, you know, for the diverse communities, one of Sadaf isn't enough in Leicester. Yeah. Let's be honest. No. Yeah. One of Dilesh is, isn't enough here. You know, so that's where I think there could be well, better perhaps, changes. Well, perhaps there'll be some campaigns in the future, <laughs> online <laughs> campaigns. Yeah. Uh, and this is you a know. great, yeah. like, but we, there's, yeah. there's one of Sadaf, there's one of Jazz, there's one of Dilesh, there's one of Spinny Hill Recovery, there's one of Arafat, there's one of As Afsal, there's one, yeah, yeah, yeah. there's a lot of these ones. Mm. Yeah. I think this is one of the things that's not realised, there's a lot of these little ones across mm. the service. And I think you, what you've got to appreciate as well, Arafat and Afzal and myself and others in the community, you know, we're doing it for different reasons. Oh, of course. You know, and where you guys, it's slightly different for you as well. Mm. This is your day job. This isn't my day job, right? And, yeah. and, you know, we're trying to carry the message and the way the program taught us. Yeah. And that, that's why we're doing it. And it's to keep what we've got, is yeah. the recovery we've got. We're only going to keep it by giving it away. Yeah. And I, but I do, I want to keep coming back to that <laughs> because yeah. we need more of you. Yeah, yeah. I, I agree. But and, what, and that yeah. takes me yeah. perfectly to the question okay. that I had this way. And it was, what is your vision? Where do you, where, where do you, where do you want to take this and what do you want to do with this role? Mm. Well, I think um, there's so many avenues, there's so many options always available. It's about, you know, first looking at what have we already got? Mm. How can we expand and improve in that? How can we use different form, different channels to communicate, for example, success stories in Punjabi, in Urdu, in Gujarati and get those kind of out sent there. through, out there, through community platforms, mm. through WhatsApp, whatever communities like to use. You know, perhaps do a showing of a recovery, work, um, um, a Sikh 
um, gentleman or lady who's recovered from something in Punjabi, and if, it, if they're worried about not anonymity, you can do a shade yeah, yeah, thing yeah. and yeah. share that within a community setting. Yeah. I'm not sure people will relate to that, resonate. So it's about thinking broader. I'd love to really, re it's already, it may, I always say to Dilish, I love speaking with you know, people from South Asian communities as well. And also, also, I'm just specifically talking about that at the moment, but any communities, everyone brings something. And I think also Dilesh was saying, lots of, I mean, going on what he said, lots of little voices makes one loud voice. Yeah. yeah. Even though we're all working singularly, actually together, it's about as long as we collaborate and coordinate our yeah. voice. Yeah, 100%. At the same yeah. time, yeah. when we're doing a campaign, for example, then the power of that voice is massive because mm. it's going in all directions. And, and how can Turning Point, what, what can you do? I'm asking you, Dylan. Oh, yeah. Don't, don't <laughs> go to that. That's <laughs> yeah. yeah. It's been crafty, though, hasn't yeah. it? I, I just turned to, away. Yeah. So the question is, what, what can Turning Point do? Yeah. I think it's continue to work closely with the likes of yourself. Hmm. Continue to work closely with the likes of Spinial Recovery. Continue to develop roles like we have. Hmm. Like, look, when we look at a year, a year ago, I was a recovery, advanced recovery worker. Um, and I was on my own. I was doing this as, as a diverse community on my own. And now we have myself, we have Sadaf, we are going out for a Polish speaking worker. We have um, Samaya, who's yeah. a family and care specialist, and she speaks multiple mm. different languages. Mm. And she's also a substance misuse and mental health specialist. Mm. Yeah. So she's not only, we talked mental health earlier, it's she's working directly with diverse communities with substance misuse and mental mm. health. And then we're talking about this team that a few years ago that I've just grown from now having a specialist, having a diverse community recovery worker to build links, to now having a Punjabi specialist, to now having a mental health specialist, to now looking at having a Pol Polish speaking specialist. So the, the growth is, is, is happening. And it's continuing, even if I look at, if we can get a, 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 my team to develop and grow, because I've, I've now developed into, uh, I've now got a new role as a team leader. So it's going places. It's, it's being able to look at my vision, and my vision when I first started this role was to have to be based in every single community, to have every single single language possible that it, mm. you could, as a worker, and that will is still my vision. It's still my vision, and and we're slowly, slowly pulling mm. out where my vision is, and ideally, we'd like to. I'd like to hold a community event. I want to hold a massive community event to go out and invite all the professionals from the community and us to be talking about the specialist work we do within diverse communities. And when we, we talk about language, we're also looking at mixed, mixed race, African, Caribbean, mm. Jamaican. Yeah, uh, yeah, uh, yeah. We're talking about huge, huge communities. We're talking, we talk, we're, we're Asian here. We spoke about a lot, but there is a lot of other communities, the Somali community. Yeah. There is a lot of other communities that are not being heard. Absolutely. And not being noticed mm. and sort of going under the radar because we're talking language specialists. But there are a lot of communities that we need to, the, the gypsy traveling community, the mm. Romanian community, there's so many communities and it's slowly building this stuff I've been building over the last few weeks, years with Turning Point and grow, growing and growing and growing. And, Mm. And taking each each individual who come in, it's great to have Sada Sada on board, which she'll run with it. I know she will. <laughs> it's great to have you on board, mm. where without your support over the last few years, would I be sitting here saying seven percent to ten percent? No, mm. I wouldn't. Mm. I wouldn't without spinning your recovery support. I wouldn't be without JIT support. Without the Belgrade Police support, I wouldn't be doing this. Mm. So it's just building more community-based organisations to work with us. And I think we, you, you mentioned Samaya there, and I forgot mm. about Samaya. And, and I think well, you got Samaya, Sadaf, yourself, and the other. And I think, I think Turning Point is very fortunate because the passion you speak with Sadaf as well. It's not for me. It's not just a job for you. No. You know, and even with Samaya, you know, and Samaya's. I've known Samaya for a few years now. Yeah. yeah. And, she's um, great. and she's very passionate, and it's yeah. about, and it's because we realise the problem it is in our communities. Mm. Yeah. And you've I think we've seen about it with our own eyes. Yeah. We've seen it, experienced mm. it. So that's you're bringing in a different perspective. It's yeah. not just a job. It's no. really not. And, and that was what we speak about. Spinny Hill recovery coming to the Gurdwara. Samaya, so a, a Muslim lady, mm. um, who works closely with her. She speaks so many different languages. <laughs> I couldn't even name them because there's probably more than <laughs> I can yeah. in my hand. Um, 
But even to see Sameya go into an event at the Gurdwara quite recently, there was a community event, and Sameya, as a Muslim lady, was stood there mm. in, uh, in, a, in, in a in fully dressed, with the head covered, everything that was required, following the, the traditions of the Sikh tradition, and also following a, a Muslim traditions as, as well, well yeah. and presenting that and being able to walk in there with confidence mm. and not be afraid of doing that. It's once again, it's like not, not being judged. No, absolutely. Yeah, you know, yeah. it's like, for example, if I was to go in the Gurdwara, I would cover my head appropriately yeah, out yeah. of respect for, you know, what the is. Sikh faith. Absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Same as I would go into a mosque and cover my head if yeah, I was going yeah. into a mosque. Yeah. So it's about having that understanding already. Yeah. Mm. yeah. Sadaf, we're quickly running out of time, yes, but I just want to, you know, once again, the viewers, the listeners listening to uh, our episode today under the influence. You know, in Punjabi or Hindi, what message would you finally want to give to them if if they know someone who's struggling or if they're struggling themselves? So, हमारा ज़िंदगी एक होता है और इस ज़िंदगी में हमको पता नहीं कितने साल का होगा दस साल पन बीस साल और एक सौ साल किसी को भी नहीं पता मगर हम अंदर डर नहीं करना है आप प्लीज़ आप कोई आपका बेटा या बेटी या हस्बैंड या कोई फैमिली में कोई प्रॉब्लम है दारू का या ड्रग्स का पॉपिसीज कोई चीज़ का आप उनके लिए सोच उनके लिए मदद करना आप उनके सोचना ऐसा सोचना है जब आप बाहर जाते हो वो कोई परिंदा गिर गया हम इसको ख्याल रखते हैं उसको प्यार देते हैं उसको यू नो वो परिंदा शायद आपको मारेगा ऐसे कर चक मारेगा आपको मगर हम प्यार से मोहब्बत से इंसान से ऐसे देखते हैं उनको मदद करना क्योंकि ये ज़िंदगी है ऐसा भी आपके बेटी के लिए आपका हस्बैंड या कोई हो शायद आपका प्रॉब्लम होगा कोई चीज़ प्लीज़ आपका कॉन्फिडेंस आप आपका दिल से आपके ज़िंदगी जो है ख्याल रखना और हम आपको भी मदद कर सकते हैं and i could see the passion running through your eyes saying that mm. i could not understand what you were saying so <laughs> got to got to politely ask you okay. if you could cuz you yeah. are the punjabi specialist rock worker so i'm going to ask you politely if okay. you could translate that for well, me well yes yeah, so i kind of switched from punjabi to well hindi really yep. so but i think so overall language are just for for now for this purpose so i was just saying just as life is um important you know we don't know how much time we have in this world perhaps 10 years 20 30 maybe 100 years even we nobody knows but it's about that self love and that humanity and about looking after ourselves as well perhaps it's yourself or a family member that's struggling and the example i give we sometimes are afraid to do because what if that sets my daughter off or my son off mm-hmm. what if somebody in the community will find out well let me give you a quick example if you're walking down the road you see a bird that's fallen out of a nest and it's struggling from your humanity perspective from your human perspective from your religious perspective you're not going to leave that bird to suffer in fact you're going to pick it up even if it bites you scratches you with your love and your humanity and that self love you will do what you need to to help that bird and i'm sure you know a lot of you will agree to that from a human perspective so similarly regardless if your son's going to fight it or your daughter it's about the end process what's going to come out of this nothing is easy in life so with that humanity you know with that perspective do this for you or your family and realize that we are here to help and please tell us what would you like us to do as well you know but i'd like to thank you for inviting me today jazz it was really great uh, meeting you in person today and dil as well thanks for inviting me to share my perspective on things no thank you and i just want to just to uh, reemphasize that if anyone's struggling just reach out you know initially speak to your gp they will signpost you to the alkaline drug services nearest to you but here in Leicester you're blessed you know you've got turning point doing a great job and you know with people like Sadaf Samaya you know people like myself the Spinny Hope project Avzal and Arafat supporting turning point we can get that support to you and hopefully you can have a life free of alcohol or any substance um, that you are struggling with finally Sadaf I just want to say big thank you to you for joining us and I'm sure we'll meet again and um but i just want one final question for you sure. the the podcast is called under the influence so what are you under the influence of today i'm under the influence of passion enthusiasm inspiration mm-hmm. and uh, a positive outlook and excitement actually to where this is going to go so that's what i'm under the influence of 
That's wonderful. And I'm glad you didn't ask me to say that in a different language. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. <laughs> Oh, Dillish might ask you okay. that. So can you translate that? <laughs> My translation skills are finished today. <laughs> no, once again, um, thank you, Sadaf, and thank you, Dillish, for supporting thank us you. with this. And, and until next time, thank you. <laughs>